Hello everyone and welcome to BFB but with Teapot Style Double Eliminations. What I mean by Teapot Style Double Eliminations is that both of the bottom two teams are up for elimination and each of them lose one member each. This is the exit where two contestants will be sent at a time. This is where the order of teams being up for elimination is going to be shown. And these are the teams. Eliminations that change will go in this middle box. We have no time to lose, so let's get started. Since nothing has actually changed yet, BFB1 plays out as it normally would, so we can just select the bottom two teams. And those teams happen to be Ions and Eight Names. Ions' elimination goes the same way as it normally would, as again, nothing has changed yet. Safer Bubble, Ruby, Snowball and Lightning, and Flower, Match, and Fanny. Pencil is once again the first boot since they still lose in the same way they did originally. Now it's 8 names turn. Like Ions, nothing changes. They simply fail to, to return a basket to X before a better name that did. Their running through lava and dying was all in vain, it seems. I could just use the BFB15 votes, but that would be boring, not to mention inaccurate. Anyways, safe our Ice Cube, Teardrop, Book because she hadn't ruined her reputation yet, Saw, and Gady. Taco's in the bottom three because she was kind of bossy in the episode and that turned people off from her at first, but nevertheless, she would still be safe. Just like BFB15, the bottom two are Dora and Lollipop. Lollipop is seen as rude, even more so this early on, which is probably why it took them so long to lose in canon. Needless to say, I think Lollipop would get out in a landslide. Given the events that followed, it's a crying shame, too, that the viewers wouldn't even give her a chance. Like BFB2, I don't think things would change all that much. There would be one less trapped contestant, but also one more team up for elimination. That being the losers alongside Beep. Just like Ion's last episode, Beep still loses Leafy, as I don't see any reason events would play out any differently. Instead, we'll focus on the losers. They didn't get much screen time in the second episode, so it might be a bit tricky to deduce who would leave. However, I know it won't be Coiny, Pin, Needle, Fiery, or Cake, or Clock. In fact, I'd say the latter three are pretty much interchangeable with one another. If you look at that, Loser and Eggy would be the bottom two. Loser is here because people would want to see how the contestants would react, while Eggy is here because she was kind of rude to Teardrop in Episode 1, then didn't do much after that. However, just like in canon BFP7, Eggy makes it out. Boring, I know, but this is probably the most logical outcome. This means that Loser, fittingly, loses. BFB3, once again, plays out the same as the last two episodes. Maybe Loser not being present might mean no daylight savings. But I still think they could have come up with the idea on their own, which means Team Ice Cube and 8 names lose it. Surprise, surprise! Brace Lady still leaves Team Ice Cube since, you guessed it, nothing happened that would change that. I apologize that this is kind of boring so far, I'm sure it'll change more later. Such as with our first repeat losers, eight names. Most of the team was jerkish to Taco and likely put the blame on her for their loss. 
the first one save for Tago herself, along with the ones who didn't blame her, or at least not on screen, Teardrop and Gady. Ice Cube and Saw also wouldn't get too many votes. Most of the votes would go to Book and Dora. Book because she's the one who suggested Taco abandon them, while Dora has an inherent disadvantage due to being a non-object. I think that due to that disadvantage, Book would narrowly make it out. This means Dora can go explore the exit. Too bad she'll be starved of her precious islands while she's there. BFB4's challenge was to render 4. We need to take a moment to deduce who would lose this episode. We can do this by thinking about how each team won. We can immediately remove free food from contention since they haven't lost any members yet, so nothing would change. 8 names won because of Teardrop, so they still win as well. Ian's Beep and Team Ice Cube have also not lost the same members as in canon, so again, no change. Since a better name than that placed above the losers, I guess this means we're doing the canon bottom two teams again. And once again, since nothing has changed as far as Death Pact is concerned, that means Lai is eliminated. Now for the losers, there isn't really an obvious choice as to who would go since once again they weren't at all relevant in BFB4. Ew. No, I'll just have it be Eggy, I think, since she was bottom two last time. BFP5 is another challenge that is entirely unaffected by team composition, especially when the bottom two teams are the same as canon. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I really thought this elimination order would change more than it's ended up doing so far. Just like with the past canon teams having the same losers, it's still Robotti who is the second contestant to leave on beat. However, free food might finally shake things up somewhat. This is because at this point, Stapy isn't hated yet, as he hasn't cheated. So, him, Foldy, Marker, Eraser, Bell, and Fries are all safe. Though, outside of Fries, they're interchangeable. The bottom two are Puffball and Yellowface. Puffball hasn't done much since her elimination in BFDIA 5. While well, Yellowface has an inherent disadvantage as a non-object. It was a tough choice, but I think ultimately Puffball makes it out of this one. This makes Yellowface our 10th eliminated contestant. For BFB6's challenge, loser not being present may mean they never hide under a basket so they would win since they wouldn't let their guard down. So I think we finally found a time where the teams change. Since Taco caused Bell to get the twinkle, a better name loses along with free food. Free food comes first. Safe are Foley, Marker, Eraser, Stapy, and although Belle was the reason they lost, she would be safe too. The bottom two are Fries and Puffball. Puffball probably still hasn't been forgiven for BFDIA 5, not to mention that she did nothing in the episode. Well, Fries is just plain rude. Fries survives by a little bit, and Puffball is out. 
I'm just glad we're finally seeing some substantial time changes. Speaking of which... Well, well, look who actually lost. Funny how between these two teams, there's all but one member of Are You Okay and all but two from the Stalkers team on Earth over in Teapot. Safe our tennis ball. Blocky. Grassy. Basketball. Robot Flower. And TV. The bottom two are the same as Ken in BFV8. Eight ball and golf ball. Fans of golf ball would most likely target him for elimination, which is most likely why he got out in canon. And personally, I think that holds true here. I don't have much more to say on that front, it's not like he'd be leaving on his favorite episode or anything. Last episode for part 1, and there's quite a few changes that would be made. First off, 8 names and a better name than that would have left the moon an episode early because of last episode's elimination. Loser would also have eliminated the normal way, so no liar ball. This also means Taco and various others stay alive and the challenge is different as well. That said, I'm gonna take the easy way out and have the cannon bottom 2 teams, a better name than that and 8 names, lose anyway. A shame that this team had to lose twice in a row, but that's just how these things go sometimes, I'm afraid. Safe our tennis ball. Blocky. Grassy. Basketball. And Robot Flower. Simply put, I feel like fans of the balls would go after TV as their next target since so many other characters. He never really did much in pre-split. I don't think I need to elaborate on my golf balls down here again. Like last episode, that plan would work. So TV's the second contestant to leave a better name than that. Teardrop would be the first one safe on 8 names. Followed by Taco since she was the MVP of the previous episode. Saw is next in line. And finally Ice Cube. Ah, uh, our bottom two is a classic. Book vs. Gady or Disliked vs. Irrelevant. Which of them leaves? In Vote to Eliminate, I think irrelevant characters are less likely to get the boot than disliked ones. Not that book's all that strong in Vote to Save, either. But right now, at the height of the Taco Abandoned Us charade, she's a goner. Thanks for watching! Part 2 releases soon, so make sure to subscribe with notifications on! Welcome back to Part 2 of BFB with Teapot Style Double Eliminations. As you may have deduced, the show won't be splitting, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This is the exit as of BFB 8. This is the order of teams being up for elimination so far. And these are the teams as of BFB8 as well. We, we have no time to lose, so let's get started. Nothing interesting here. BFB8 will play out the exact same way as in canon once again. In other words, Eins and Free Food lose since those were the bottom two teams this episode. Since the events of the episode play out in the exact same way, Stapy would still cheat, therefore getting eliminated. Puffball isn't here to help him, but you could easily replace her with Eraser in this scenario. As for Ions, safe are Bubble, Ruby, Lightning, Flower, 
and although it's unclear whether the stinger would play out or in the same way, Fanny would survive regardless. This means we end up with the same bottom two as Ainz's cannon second elimination match and snowball. I think we all know where this is going, so I'll just skip to the end. After how Match treated Bubble in this episode, she was doomed the next time Ainz lost, no matter what. BFB9 actually shakes things up somewhat. Allow me to elaborate. In the canon episode, Beep loses because Balloonie isn't around to throw the balls into the basket. However, he may well still be alive as a result of BFB7's change in contest, as his death was a consequence of that. So I'll rule out Beep losing since he'd still be alive. Death Pact was one of the bottom two teams, and since nothing differs about them from canon, they would have last place this time. That said, they only play 7th because Tree was trapped in Bottle and Remote was dead, both as a result of BFP7 which has significantly changed in this timeline so they would probably win earlier. Next are the losers, Team Ice Cube and 8 names who all finished at the same time. You might say 8 names should lose, but to that I point to the significantly modified BFP7 as proof otherwise. Loser would probably already be in the exit, and Eggy didn't really lie about anything, so nobody would care about wanting to keep the jawbreaker away, so Taco never gets crushed. I assume she's who Gady refers to when she says this. If Taco's their specialized thrower, then they would win no problem with her still around. This means it's the Losers and Team Ice Cube who lose this episode, as the Losers actively sucked while Team Ice Cube just wasn't fast enough. Since Coiny sucks at throwing, the losers lose first. He also happens to be the first one safe. Followed by Pin, Cake, and Needle. This means it's down to Fiery and Clock for the bottom two. Neither of them have been very relevant up to this point, Fiery especially. However, Fiery would survive off of still having more fans. This means that Clock's time is up. Now to do Team Ice Cube. Safe our barf bag. Donut because of his hosting. Spongy because this is before he became despised in BFB14. Gelatin because he had a good idea for the contest. And Bomby for just doing his best, you know? The bottom two are Fiery Jr. and Naily. Up to the current point, neither of them really did anything in the show. But this also means Fiery Jr. hadn't done anything yet to make himself hated, so he may still be safe. There isn't really anything to add here. I've said a lot already for this episode though, so can you blame me? Oh look, it's time for a double rejoin. It works about the way you would expect. Two teams win, with each getting one rejoiner. Since Fiery was the one who actually got four out, the losers still get a rejoiner, that much is obvious. As for the other team... Lollipop isn't here, so Pillow licking her head doesn't count, but the last strategy before that was Bottle playing golf, so it would still be Death Pact. The top two most voted are Leafy and Loser, I see no reason that would change. Leafy's still on the Losers, well Loser goes to Death Pact. Who will lose in BFB11? In the canon episode, Ainz loses, but is that still the case here? On the contrary, actually, 
Dora isn't here, so Eight Names doesn't knock Flower off the side of the stairs before she can press the button. So they get second place after the losers. Next on the stairs were Balloonie, Bomby, and Tennis Ball, so their teams are safe as well. Foldy still gets knocked off by Flower, and Pi still gets exploded. Not sure if Eight Names would send Teardrop or Taco, but either of them would make it to the top without issue, so Free Food and Death Pack will be up for elimination. Foldy came closer to hitting the button, so it would be Death Pack losing a member first. And fresh off getting a rejoin or two, how unfortunate. Anyway, safe our pen. Tree. Remote. Loser. Black Hole. And Pie. The bottom two are Pillow and Bottle. Pillow would get voted because people think she's weird and for a lack of screen time outside of that. Bottle would get votes because she can be kind of annoying. However, I think Bottle would survive since some people find her personality endearing, so they would vote Pillow out. We'll get to free food after these messages. And we're back. Safe our fries. Marker. And Bell. The bottom two are Eraser and Foldy. Eraser's here because people still aren't over how he would have, in this timeline, assisted De Stapy in his cheating. That said, what people are more upset about is how Foley very nearly caused Ainz to lose, so Eraser would be safe for that and because he has a much larger fan base thanks to Pen and Blocky. As a result, Foldy folds, crumpled up under the pressure. In BFB12, only one of the swaps, that being Puffball, is currently out. And that wouldn't affect Ions and Team Ice Cube being the bottom two teams, since Team Ice Cube failed outright, they go first. Their elimination goes the same as Cannon, Cannon, Sans, Naily. Which means that Fiery Jr. is eliminated. As for Ions, safe are Bubble, Ruby, Fanny, and Lightning. The bottom two are Flower and Snowball, but don't be fooled. Given the events of BFB 11 and 12, Snowball would definitely be out in a landslide. No, I did not make a mistake. BFB14 has no elimination, so I'm skipping to BFB15 instead. Which two teams would lose, though? No yellow face means no fake emeralds from his store, so they would lose alongside eight names, the cannon losers. This team is just dropping like flies, isn't it? Marker is the first one safe. And he is followed by fries. The bottom two are Eraser and Bell. At this point, they're really only here because half of this team is already gone. <laughs> Bell would get the boot, I think, for the same reason Foley fell to Eraser. His fans targeting her. I don't see them targeting Fries. Also, she has a kind of shrill voice that can get grating, so she has that going against her as well. Safe on eight names are Ice Cube, Teardrop, and Song. The bottom two are Taco and Gady, who and Cannon were the fourth and fifth safe, while the bottom three there are all out here. Needless to say, Cannon applies here and Gady gets more votes than Taco. There is nothing left to add here, I don't think.
In canon, this is the final episode before the split, but if you can't tell, we aren't doing that here. But we need to choose the losers. We can rule out 8 names and free food since they would both win instantly because they would already be at 4 having just come off of an elimination. Beep, the better namers in Death Pack too because their strategies wouldn't need to change at all. In fact, I think it would just be Ives and Team Ice Cube, the same bottom two teams as Cannon. Also just like in Cannon, Spongy gets the boots from Team Ice Cube, and then a landslide 22,845 strong, or potentially higher due to Naily's absence. As for Ions, Safe are Bubble, Ruby, and Lightning. The final bottom two of part two are Fanny and Flower. Who will lead? Flower will, and the reason is simple. She was the only one who did anything in the episode because everybody else was too busy being dead, so she would be at the forefront of all the voters' minds. Thank you for watching! Part 3 releases soon, so make sure to subscribe with notifications on! Welcome back to BFB but with Teapot style double eliminations. We're entering uncharted territory, I'll be using a mix of post split BFB challenges and Teapot challenges. This is the exit as of BFB 16. This is the order of teams being up for elimination. And these are the teams as of BFB 16. We have no time to lose, so let's get started. I'm not gonna bother showing which two teams get the debuters yet, and I'll explain why in a moment. First off, the debuter pool is the same, and winner still gets the most votes. Price tag also joins by the same logic as Teapot 1. Now if you didn't notice, the teams are currently very unbalanced, with one having 7 members and one down to just 3, so I think this is the perfect time to rebalance the teams by rearranging them. We're gonna do 6 teams of 7 using the Teapot team names because I'm very original. If you think the teams would look different, let me know. I probably won't make adjustments since I'm making this all ahead of time, but a civil discussion never hurts. Since we did a hard reset on the teams, this means past events are no longer very relevant. BFB 17's challenge will be the tower protecting contest from the canon BFB 18, but with 6 towers instead of 2. Which teams will lose? For starters, whichever team gets winner shouldn't have any trouble protecting their tower. In fact, I doubt either team with a debut would lose this soon. Death Pact again has Black Hole, who would probably go for Are You OK's tower before being stopped by Pen like in Teapot 2. So instead, he takes out teammates in the strongest team's towers, causing them to be up for elimination. Teammates comes first, and I should note that we switched to vote to save at this point as well. Safe are Coiny, Pin, Farfbag, Needle, and Donut. The bottom two are Taco and Saw, though it could really be any of them here except Coiny and Pin. That said, I think Saw still leaves. Out of all the eliminations so far, this is the one I'm least certain about. The same cannot be said for the strongest team on Earth. Safe are Teardrop, Grassy, Woody, and Basketball and Nickel. Not sure who would fall to the bottom three, but both would be safe. The bottom two are Robot Flower and David. 
And like I implied before, it's incredibly obvious who's leaving. There's no way people are gonna save David, who only ever says two things over characters with actual discernible personalities. The only reason he got this far is because Beep had a strong winning streak. BFB18's challenge will be a race to the pillory ruins. Since Ruby's on Just Not, they get to use the free smart super van, so they definitely win. Gelatin would probably be able to use Spongy's ship to win since Spongy's not here to stop him. Needle is both fast and strong, so she can just carry her whole team to the end. And since the strongest team just lost, I'll put Death Pact again in the S up for elimination. This S comes first since Death Pact again has lightning, so they likely would have been able to come closer to winning. Save our winner. Rocky. Loser since he would get an arc with winner. And Balloony and Cloudy. Personally, I think the only reason they left first on their respective teams in canon is that they weren't together. If they were, they may have survived comfortably. The bottom two are Bottle and Ice Cube. Only one can stay, but who is it? I think Ice Cube would barely stay since she would have the backing of Free Smart fans given that none of the others are on this team. There isn't much more for me to say here, I don't think. For Death Pact again, save our Black Hole, Lightning, Tree, Remote, and Fanny. The bottom two are Marker and Pi. In this timeline, episode 19 likely still predates Fight the Marker's rise in popularity, though I have been told it would exist. That said, so did Teapot 1, and Marker still survived, so I see no reason that would change. Pi? More like die. Even though she won't do that, since she's just going to the exit. I don't actually know what the challenge should be for this episode, so I'll just choose two teams to be up for elimination. Are You Okay comes first. Safe our pen. Golf Ball. Gelatin. Blocky. And Eraser. The bottom two are Fries and Tennis Ball. I think this would end the same way as it did in Teapot 6 with Fries being the one who gets out of the game. Now, on to Just Not. Safe are Leafy. Price Tag. Fiery. Ruby. And Bubble. The bottom two are Bombing and Cake, two characters who have largely been irrelevant in BFB. That said, Bombie's heroic sacrifice in BFP14 would probably get him save votes here. This means that a baked good gets eliminated in two consecutive episodes. I wonder if it'll be three. As we all know, 9 plus 10 equals 21, which is the episode number we're on. We're gonna even use the challenge from Teapot 3, which plays out in the same way, with Team 8 and the S losing. Safe our pin. Coiny. 
needle, and barf bag. The bottom two are taco and donut. I think donut survives another bottom two though. She's up because I find barf bag to be a generally better version of taco, I don't know what else to say. For the S, safe our winner. Balloony. Loser. And Cloudy. The bottom two are Rocky and Ice Cube who both basically do nothing ever outside of their respective gimmicks. Or so you think, Ice Cube would likely start getting new lines again around this time, allowing her to be safe. I have nothing more to say on the matter. Rocky's gone, that's all. This episode's challenge will be to get the best gift for a certain teammate, just like the canon BFB21. Leafy gave a good score, so her team, Just Not, would win easily. Woody would get an actual good gift, since unlike Taco, Nickel likely knows him well since they were teammates previously. Similar story for Team 8s. And since the S just lost, all put up Are You OK in Death Pact again. Death back again would probably do worse, I'd think. Safe or black hole. Tree. Remote. And Fanny, though the bottom three would all be teapot five levels of close. The bottom two are lightning and marker. I already explained marker, but lightning just isn't as popular as the rest. That said, lightning would make it out here. I guess the markers may never be found now. Now for Are You Okay, Safe our Pen, Golf Ball, Blocky, and Tennis Ball. The bottom two are Gelatin and Eraser. I could see Gelatin becoming part of Blocky's friend group potentially if they're on the same team together, but then they'd have to share votes four different ways. And I do kind of think Eraser may still try to mess up Teardrop, even if she isn't on a team of one. So people would save him and Blob Boy would fall short. We're going to use the cannon challenge again, but slightly modified to work with 6 teams. Someone on each team stole something from a teammate and they have to figure out who. On teammates, stealing Donut's diary seems like something Coiny would do, so they figure it out quickly. Similar story with the racer and something that belongs to Golf Ball. Fiery would steal something and try to blame Leafy in the hopes she gets eliminated, so Just Not loses. The S also loses since they simply can't even figure out what was stolen, let alone which of them stole it. It was cloudy for his collection. Just Not at least had a guess, so the S loses first. Safe our winner. Balloony. And Cloudy. The bottom two are Loser and Ice Cube, who both have 12 edges and 6 size and vertices each, though Ices are more rounded. Since Loser is likely in an arc with Winner though, he's the one who stays. So Ice Cube, despite actually having things to do, will have to melt her way into the exit. For Just Not, I think the Leafy and Fiery makeup happens here, so Leafy is the first safe by a country mile, and Fiery is in a somewhat distant second. Ruby follows in an even more distant third and then price tag in a far less distant fourth. The bottom two are Bomby and Bubble. Both are fairly prone to death, though one would cause more collateral damage than the other. 
Due to the potential for increased spotlight like in Teapot, Bami is the last one safe by a narrow margin. Looks like Bubbles' chances of winning the BFDI have just been popped, just like she has been on numerous occasions. This also means two water-based contestants and Alliance members lose at the same time. Thank you for watching! Part 4 releases soon, so make sure to subscribe with notifications on! Welcome back to BFB with, but with Teapot style double eliminations. We'll hit the merge later this episode along with having another double rejoin. This is the exit as of BFB 23. This is the order of teams being up for elimination. And these are the teams, also as of BFB 23. We have no time to lose, so let's get started. BFB 24's challenge in this timeline will be to recover the plates similar to Teapot 5. Since the strongest team on Earth has Teardrop, we can immediately rule them out. Are you okay too, since they'd actually be able to use the Fish Monster Machine? Sure, Basketball could still steal it, but with Teardrop on her team, there is no need. I think just not, since Pillow and Book are both gone, would we'll lose again, along with Team 8's. Just not goes first, since they have no clue what their strategy would be without Pillow and Book, and because two of them can't even enter the water. Safe are Leafy, Ruby, and Price Tag. The bottom two are Fiery and Bami. One has been getting more to do recently while the other just finished a storyline with Leafy, leaving him with nothing to do. I think Bami would barely scrape by again because of this. And then there was one. One Season 1 finalist left, though even she's a rejoiner. For Team 8's, safe are Pin, Coiny, and Needle. The bottom two are the only non-season one contestants left on the team, Donut and Barfbag. Donut has escaped the bottom two many times, but I don't think he makes it out this time. In other words, he'll be joining Fivey in Eternal Algebra class. At this point, I'm not even going to bother with choosing a challenge and just choose two teams to lose. We're hitting the merge soon anyways. Anyways, the strongest team on Earth has lost literally once ever, so I will put them up alongside Are You Okay? Safe are Grassy, Teardrop, Woody, and Basketball. The bottom two are Nickel and Robot Flower. Why do I even say here? I have no clue. I guess Robot Flower would be in an arc with Basketball just like Teapot. So, well, Nickel hasn't really been doing anything, so people wouldn't be inclined to save him. On Are You Okay, safe are Golf Ball, Pen, and Eraser. Before Blocky, you may ask? Well, Eraser would kind of be getting his own stuff to do lately. This means Blockman falls to the bottom two with Tennis Ball, which would stay, and which would leave. Despite what I mentioned earlier, Blocky would likely outlast Tennis Ball. Going by the Canon Teapot 6 results, he just doesn't seem to do all that well in Vote to Save, so he would get out before Golf Ball, unlike in BFDI and most likely BFDIA.
Since this episode will bring us down the 24 contestants, I think this would be a good time to do the merge. But we will do one more team elimination. The losing teams, Death Pact again and Team 8s. Death Pact again goes first, Safe our tree, Black Hole, and Remote. The, just like the canon 7th episode of Teapot, the bottom two are Fanny and Lightning. Also just like in the canon episode, Fanny would survive, meaning that she makes it to the merge. This also means that Lightning drops like a fly. Let's hope he doesn't go on a rampage this time. Whoever gets out on Team 8 is the last contestant to not make it to the merge, along with being the 42nd eliminated contestant overall. That contestant will not, however, be Coiny, and it won't be Pin either. Will Needle having to share fans with Coiny and Pin result in her downfall, or does she have her safety in the bag? The 42nd eliminated contestant from BFB but with Teapot style eliminations is... Needle. Barf Bag is safe largely due to not having to share fans with anyone else left on the team. To her credit, Needle did play a good game, and she was a strong competitor for sure. At long last, we can do away with these teams now because we've officially reached the merge. Contestants on the left half of the screen will be safe, and those on the right will be up for elimination. And in this inaugural merge elimination, these eight will be up for voting. For merge eliminations, the bottom two vote getters will be eliminated, but who's safe? First is Leafy. Then Golf Ball, Grassy, Blocky, and Barf Bag. The bottom three are Bomby, Cloudy, and Price Tag. Only one of them can be safe, but who is it? Cloudy would be safe, I think. By this point, I could probably argue that Bomby and Price Tag might vote slip split with each other. Well, Cloudy wouldn't do the same as Balloony was safe, which means that unlike him, they're gone like puffs of smoke. Price Tag would probably get more votes than Bomby because of their unique face, so they place one spot higher. We now have one third of the contestants left. Time to select another eight losers, and this time, those will be... Balloony, Ruby, Cloudy, Coiny, Woody, Robot Flower, Pin, and Loser. Safe this time are Woody, Pin, Ruby, Coiny, and Balloony. This is our bottom three. Clowny has to split with Balloony this time, but at the same time Robot Flower and Loser haven't done much lately, plus Loser's a rejoiner. So I think Cloudy would scrape by again. These two have stayed long enough, maybe too long in Loser's case. Oh, look at the schedule! It's time for the second and final rejoin! To be honest, I don't have much to say about this one, so I'll just say that Pencil and Lie would rejoin. If you've seen my other predictions, you likely saw this coming from a mile away.
In the canon, this would be the final episode, but not here. Who loses? This time, Seven do, and this is who it is. Safe our teardrop. Winner. Tree. And Eraser. Fanny, Basketball, and Barf Bag are the final bottom three for this part. Take a wild guess as to which one stays. Yep, Barf Bag, though all three would be super close together in votes. Simply put though, I do not see these two getting any farther than this. Thank you for watching! Part 5, the final part, releases soon, so make sure to subscribe with notifications on! Welcome everyone to the 5th and final part of BFB but with Teapot style double eliminations. I'm covering more episodes to compensate for the fact that each episode will be shorter than when we still had teams. This is the exit as of BFB 30. This was the order of teams losing. And this is our final 20. We have no time to lose, so let's get started. Seven contestants will be chosen to lose, and two will be eliminated. And these are the seven that will be up for voting. A bunch of fan favorites so that two of them will get out. Safe our pen, Leafy, Golf Ball, and Black Hole. The bottom three are Coiny, Pin, and Woody. As I said, I exclusively put up fan favorites, and these three are no exception. Woody would be the last one safe, though. The reasoning is pretty much exclusively that Coiny and Pin would have to share votes with each other and nothing else. I think Pin would have ever so slightly less though, so she places worse. Since we now have 18, I'll choose 6 to lose instead of 7. And those 6 are Remote, Winner, Eraser, Blocky, Pen, and Barf Bag. Coincidentally, this also means that only 4 of them can be safe. 3 of them are Remote, Winner, and Pen. So at least one of the bros are leaving today, but which one? Or will it be both, because of vote splitting? Yep, it will in fact be both. For a funny prank, get up for elimination with people who you'll share votes with. Then both of you will get eliminated. Six contestants will be put up for elimination once again. And this time, Balloony, Cloudy, Leafy, Teardrop, Pen, and Ruby are those six. Safe are Pen, Teardrop, and Leafy. The bottom three are Balloony, Cloudy, and Ruby. Since Ruby's the only Alliance member up for elimination, she would get all of their votes. Well, Balloony and Cloudy have to share. That seems to be a recurring trend here.
time to choose the next six losers once again. By this point, I think it would be safe to put Pencil and Lie up. They'll go along with Grassy, Barfbag, Remote, and Winner. Safe are Winner, Lie, and Pencil. Everyone left is quite beloved, even the bottom three, but only one can stay. And today, Remote is that one. I feel kinda generous letting these two get this far even, Barfbag especially. This is the last episode where more than two contestants win immunity. And the above ones are the ones that will not do so in this episode. Safe are Golf Ball, Tree, and Black Hole. As you may notice, I think Leafy's votership would start to decline. She is a rejoiner after all. I think Ruby will be the last one safe by a Teapot 5 level vote margin. This means she beats out last remaining Season 1 finalist. And also Woody, I guess. Final 10, only two will win immunity, but which two will it be? With the power of teamwork, Pencil and Ruby would win. Safe are Pen, Teardrop, Black Hole, Golf Ball, and Remote. Out of Tree, Winner, and Lie are bottom three. I think viewers would be most inclined to save the one who's been here the whole time. This marks the fall of our second day viewer and leaves Pencil as the last rejoiner standing. This is going to be the last double elimination so we can have a four contestant finale. It's a tradition for BFB elimination orders that don't split at this point. Only one will be safe this time, and that one is Teardrop. Safe are Pen, Golf Ball, Tree, and Remote. Black Hole, Ruby, and Pencil are the bottom three. I think you can all see where this is going, so I'm gonna skip to the end. Say it with me now, they lost because of vote splitting. Gosh, that's predictable, isn't it? Only one contestant will be safe, and only one will get out for these last two episodes before the finale. And Tree will have immunity. Safe are Teardrop, Golf Ball, and Pen. The bottom two are Remote and Black Hole. By this point, people will probably get bored of Black Hole, but probably also of Remote as well. 
Only one can leave here, though, and I think Black Hole is unique enough to stay. She came so close, and yet so far. Final elimination before the end, who will be guaranteed a spot into the finale? I will go to Tree again, since I think he'd be the most likely to be voted out otherwise, and keeping him in will spice up the finale a bit maybe. Safe our pen, and Teardrop. The final bottom two are Black Hole and Golf Ball, both are very popular in Vote to Save, but I'm not sure people would want either of them making it all the way to the end, but one has to. I think it would be Golf Ball. And this is because Black Hole was in the bottom two last time. Yeah, if you couldn't tell I'm running out of steam, but we are almost at the end, thankfully. And here we are at the final four of BFB with teapot style double eliminations. One will be the winner and will get the BFDI, but who? In fourth place is Golf Ball. She may be popular but is also pretty hated, so I highly doubt people would want her to win. Tree also won't get the BFDI. He just isn't as beloved as the other two. Nope, it's gonna be either Pen and Teardrop, one of the most predictable final twos ever. The one who wins is... Teardrop, congratulations to her. Pen gets a very respectable second place. Thank you for watching, make sure to subscribe with notifications on!